Have you ever wanted a much more seamless way to transfer files from your Android phone to your Windows PC? Well, enter Nearby Sharing, an application that takes advantage of Windows built-in Nearby Sharing functionality to make the process outrageously seamless. With the app installed, you just find the file you want to share on your phone, tap the system share icon, and then tap on share file. And almost immediately, you'll see your Windows device show up, and after tapping it, your chosen file will be transferred to your computer almost immediately. How cool is that? All right, second up today is Dynamic Wallpaper, an incredible customization-based application with a really neat trick up its sleeve. So this app will actually change your phone's wallpaper depending on its battery state. So whether your phone's battery is low, full, or charging, you will see different wallpapers. And what's really cool is that not only are there stacks of beautifully designed wallpaper presets to choose from, but you can even create your own wallpaper sets using images from your gallery. Very nice. Following that is Noted Widget, and this is a fun little application that lets you create linked widgets across multiple devices. You just install the app on two or more phones, share the connection code as needed, and then once your widgets are set up, you just tap to open one of them on one of your devices. From there, you can draw whatever you like using the various pen styles and customizations, and once complete, you tap send, and then yes. Within seconds, that hand-drawn widget will then appear on the other connected devices, which can then be responded to as well. It's kind of like SMS, but a little more unique. Now, given that you're watching this video, I can only assume that, like me, you love finding new applications. Well, Shelf is an application designed to help you do exactly that, and this app is super special because it's actually one of my very own applications. Now, the app was originally designed to just be a hub for the hundreds of apps I've featured on my channel over the past five years, but we just recently released a huge update that now lets users add their own recommendations, meaning the chances for discovering a new application you haven't heard of before is now really, really high. You can also leave your own in-app reviews or add apps to your favorites. And probably my favorite feature is this one called Application Shelves, which allows you to create your own lists of applications and even add them to your home screen as scrollable widgets. There's also a heap of other really cool features, including following other users and seeing their app shelves and reviews. And on top of that, along with a bunch of other apps featured in today's video, if you sign up as a channel member within the first two weeks of this video going live, then you will actually get the premium version of this app completely for free. All right, if you're an AirPod user, but you also use an Android phone, then I've got three separate apps, all for the price of one, that'll make the experience almost exactly like how they work on iOS devices. The first is called AndroPods, which has a bunch of features built in, but I pretty much disable all of them and just use it for this really authentic looking AirPods pop-up interface that shows whenever you open your AirPods case. The second is called Open Pods, which has a really authentic and well-designed notification that'll show when your AirPods are connected. And then the final and possibly the most powerful one is called CA Pod, which shows even more advanced information such as connectivity stats, battery info, plus a bunch more. And it even adds support for ear detection with automatic pause and play functionality. CA Pod also allows you to add widgets to your home screen, which is super handy. Sunny is a relatively simple but definitely underrated weather app that I've had installed on my phone for a little while now, but it earns a spot in today's video because of how drop dead gorgeous it looks. You get a big weather icon up the top with current weather information below that, and then at the bottom you get this scrollable carousel with the hourly forecast for the next 24 hours. There's also some additional weather information right at the bottom of the interface, and you can also tap here to see the forecast for the next week, making it just that little bit more useful. And if you could add a weather radar as well, then this would probably be at the top of the list as far as third-party weather apps go. Now, with the release of Android 13, Google has finally added system-level support for changing the intensity of your phone's flashlight. The only problem is that there's currently no user-facing way to do it. And so, enter Flash Dim, which unlocks this very functionality. Not only do you get a few preset levels on the side here, but you also get a full-on slider that gives you full granular control over how bright or dim your flashlight is. There's also support for a quick settings tile that can be linked to a set level if you like, which is really convenient. 
Auto scroll is a pretty nifty app that, as the name so helpfully implies, will scroll through TikToks, Shorts, and Reels automatically for you. With the app installed and activated, anytime you're using any of the previously mentioned apps, it'll automatically swap to the next video a few seconds after the one you're currently watching finishes. This makes it great for watching your favorite shorts hands-free, and if you ever wanted to stop scrolling, you just hit the power toggle. And then we have Music Volume EQ, and if you're looking for a way to make your phone speakers sound better, or at the very least, sound different, then this is the app for you. So anytime you have music playing on your phone, you'll be able to see this really cool retro style audio visualizer interface that I reckon looks incredible, complete with a fully working volume slider on the side here. But then if you tap this EQ button, you'll get access to a five band equalizer that you can use to change up how the audio sounds coming from your phone. There's a bunch of presets to choose from, or you can of course make as many manual changes as you like as well. And then if you tap this full screen button here, you can then even view these incredibly beautiful full screen audio visualizers. And then staying in the realm of music editing for a minute, and Music Speed Changer is another really cool audio based application that comes with a bunch of handy tools for adjusting the music stored on your phone. You get the option to adjust the pitch of a song as well as the tempo, and you can even loop specific sections of a song using these A and B buttons. And I was half expecting this to be really gimmicky, but it's actually super impressive just how well the app works, and I could see myself having fun with this long into the future. All right, halfway down the list, and if you're looking to stay on top of your data usage more effectively in 2023, then Data Monitor is a really well-designed application that will definitely help you to do so. You just add your data allowance to the app, and from there on out, you can use the app to track how much data you're using and how that stacks up to your data allowance. It even breaks up data usage depending on whether it's mobile or Wi-Fi data that you've used, and it even comes with a useful home screen widget so that you can always keep a track of how much data you've been using. Now, with every new release of Android, I'm always keeping my eye out on the changes that come in particular to the default Pixel Launcher, with my biggest hope being that Google will finally let us remove, or at least hide, those darn at a glance and search bar widgets from the home screen. But alas, to this day, it has still never happened. And so enter Pixel Launcher Mods, a root application for devices running Android 12 and newer that unlocks a whole slew of customizations for the Pixel Launcher itself. So with this module installed, you get the ability to use third-party icon packs, you can hide apps from the app drawer, and you can even replace the at a glance or search bar widgets with a different widget of your choosing. There's a bunch of other cool features as well, but for mine, if you've got a rooted Pixel device, then I highly recommend checking out this incredible module. Now, if you've ever looked up a recipe on the web, then you'll know how frustrating it can be having to sift through long-winded articles just to reach a pretty short recipe at the bottom of a page. Well, Just The Recipe is an app that solves this exact issue. You just copy the link to your chosen recipe, paste it into the app, and there you go. It'll quickly cut out all of the fluff, leaving you with just the ingredients and the instructions. And then speaking of fluff, if you're finding it hard to keep up with the incredible amount of amazing podcasts available at the moment, but you don't want to miss out, well then Hark is an app that you should definitely try out. You see, the team behind Hark takes the time to essentially clip specific sections they consider to be highlights from popular podcasts doing the rounds, and then curate them into what they call Hark lists, which are essentially podcast mixtapes. As a result, you'll be able to listen to a bunch of short segments from different podcasts all relating to the same topic, meaning you can get a really in-depth insight on that particular topic without having to listen to every hour-long podcast individually. The app also acts as a standard podcast player app too, which is really cool. All right, here's a really simple app called Inware. And if you're looking for a clean way to learn about the specs of your current device, well then this has gotta be the app to do so. Each spec is separated into different categories, but the app just has a really clean UI, making it a visual treat to learn about anything and everything related to the hardware on your phone. And speaking of hardware, Light Meter is an app that uses your phone's ambient light sensor to measure the light intensity around you. And that's kind of it. But it's completely free, offers some handy customizations, and more importantly, it works really, really well. Tweet to Pick is a pretty niche little application, but one that I've personally been wanting to find for a very long time. 
So if you're ever wanting to share a tweet to another platform, normally you'd have to take a screenshot and then try and creatively crop out the unwanted parts. And in all honesty, the end results often leave a little to be desired. And so tweet to pick is a really impressive tool that streamlines that process. You just copy the link to whichever tweet you wanna share, paste it into the app, select whether you wanna hide a parent tweet or hide media, or if you want the tweet to have a dark mode design, then you press submit and there you go. Your copied tweet will be transformed into a beautiful image complete with rounded corners. And I've gotta say, this is an app I can seriously see myself using quite a bit this year. Following that is Lively Wallpapers. And this is a really unique wallpaper application that actually lets you set live websites as your phone's wallpaper. And the wallpapers are even interactable, meaning you could literally navigate through an entire website if you like, all from the comfort of your phone's home screen. It also comes with a bunch of recommended websites, most of which are really cool to have as your phone's wallpaper. Second to last is Privacy Dots, and this is a really cool app that mimics Android 13's Privacy Dots functionality, but on devices running anything as low as Android 7. You just activate the app and set which dots you wanna see, and from there on out, anytime any app accesses either your phone's camera, microphone, or location, you'll then see these little floating icons showing you that they're in use. This is particularly useful if you wanna keep tabs on apps that do this in the background without your knowledge, and it even comes with an access log so that you can see a full list of every app that's requested access in the background. And finally today, we have the Lethem Notification Widget, another widget-based application, but this time for your notifications. And yes, this might seem a little unnecessary given that your notifications are but a single swipe away, but what makes this app so useful is that you can select which specific app notifications you wanna show within the widget, which means rather than having to sift through a long list of notifications, you'll instead be able to quickly see only the most important notifications right on your home screen. And then on top of that, you can also create multiple widgets to separate different groups of notifications if you like. Plus, you can even customize the look of your widgets to make them suit your home screen even better. And so there you have it, 20 Android apps that I reckon are absolutely worth a try at some point this year. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing. And as mentioned, I do also have promo codes for each of my channel members for some of the apps featured in today's video. So a huge shout out to each of the developers on screen right now. And like I said, if you wanna get the promo codes yourself, then all you need to do is sign up as a channel member within the first two weeks or so of this video going live. And that's it. And just to be clear, this is not a promo code giveaway where it's like first in best dress. This is a guaranteed promo code for every single channel member for each of the apps mentioned, no questions asked. Aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.